The Yankees won their first series on the year. Heck, it's the opening series. Very happy about that. That's a phenomenal step in the right direction. But before we get into any of that, if you guys enjoy the video and you're not subscribed but you love the Yankees, subscribe for daily Yankees content. Hit that like button and comment down below. So the Yankees played a heck of a series, man. A nail biter on opening day. Donaldson with the walk off single. Then we won the next game, what, 4-2? to two? Then we lost yesterday, 4-3. to three. Listen, it, it happens. We're not going to win every game. It's just not going to happen. We won the opening series, and that is so important in a season. If you win every series or most series, you're going to finish r really well, and you're going to have a good record at the end of the year, and that's one thing that we have to keep in mind. We can't win every game. It's a really long season. We can't win every series. It's a long season, but as long as we win as many as we can, it's a great start. Right now, the first one, we beat the Red Sox. We're off to Toronto tonight, but I wanted to talk about a few things here. I wanted to talk about a couple of players. One guy, Anthony Rizzo. He fields a really good first base. I love him over there. I absolutely do. Opening day, he saved the, one of Donaldson's throws, and my goodness gracious, how he straddled that bag. Great play by Rizzo. He's a great receiver. That's what he's going to provide. Now with Rizzo, he's a good bat too. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people this year. I really do. That player, that productive player, that almost all-star player, I'm not saying he'll return to that level, but don't be shocked if he sniffs it. Don't be shocked if he hits 25, 30 home runs this year. It's a 275 average, drives in 100. Don't be shocked as he could do that. If he does that, that is more than what you wanted at first base this year. You just wanted a guy who could hold his own over there and who could provide some type of power, some type of impact in that lineup. Well, that would do more than that. And Rizzo, he still has it in the tank, man. He's only 32. He's as old as Freddie Freeman. So the COVID year really threw him off. Last season wasn't so great. He actually had COVID during his stint with the Yankees. He started off hot, Missed games because of COVID, then wasn't the same since. This year, he's 100% healthy. It seems that way anyway, and he's performing really well through his first three games. I'm really happy for Rizzo. I think he's going to have a big year. Now let's talk about Giancarlo Stanton. My goodness. First of all, he hits the Red Sox. That's what he does. He did this last year, and he's picking up where he left off. In my opinion, once when this guy gets hot, there's not much you could do to cool him off. And yeah, it's very early. I'm not saying he's going to be hot throughout this whole year. That's literally impossible. You're going to have dips. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. But him having such a good start is very important because what happens? Starts off hot in April. Carries over to May. Carries over to June. What happens if it carries over the whole year? He's going to have some slumps here and there. That's going to happen. But when Stanton is hot, and he proved that with Miami and during his MVP season, when he's hot, there might not be much to do to cool him off. So Stanton starting off the year great. I believe he's going to have a monster season. I wouldn't be shocked if he hits you 50. I wouldn't be shocked if he hits you 60. That sounds insane because we haven't had a 60 home run hitter since Barry Bonds. But Stanton was the closest one to it back in 2017 with the Marlins. So if, he's go if someone's going to do it, he will do it. And it's definitely possible. Not saying he is. That's the best case scenario for Stanton. He could go down tomorrow, be on the 30, the, the 60 day IL. Who, who knows? But if he stays healthy, I'm predicting a monster year for Stanton. A monster season. Now let's talk about the starting rotation. Listen, Garrett Cole, you would think he would pitch more than four innings, but he didn't. You, you think these guys would go more than they went. You don't think that we would dip into the bullpen as early as we did. However, spring training started kind of late for them. It did. This is kind of their spring training. It kind of leaked into the season. And this is why we have 28 guys. This is why MLB expanded it to 28 guys for April. So you could bring on more pitching. Because spring training was so short. 
The bullpen has done a marvelous job. That's going to be our strength. That's going to carry us throughout the year. I'm fine with that. I'm good. Our starting our starting pitching has to be good too. But our bullpen is going to be very good. They will be a stable part on this team. So that's what we have to look forward to as Yankee fans. Listen, Rizzo off to a hot start. Stanton off to a hot start. The, the rotation, you need more innings out of them. But listen, it's early in the year. It'll come. It will come. Great start. Two and one. Very important. Going into Toronto tonight. Hopefully we win that series. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think. All right, everyone. This is Joan. Until next time. Signing out.